mental health and the adolescent child, trauma, neglect, drug and substance abuse, stressful situations such as poverty, the death of a dear one, and divorce on the part of parents are some of the major causes of mental illness in adolescents today. Mental health refers to the emotional, psychological, and social well-being of the mind. This includes how we think, act, feel, handle stress, and relate with others. There are so many forms of mental health disorders, including clinical depression, bipolar disorders, anxiety disorders, dementia, and autism, amongst others. Research indicates that the top four mental ailments found in adolescents are anxiety problems, behavioral problems, depression, and ADHD. Attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, is a chronic condition including attention difficulty, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. It often begins from childhood and can persist to adulthood. This contributes to low self-esteem, troubled relationships, and difficulty at school or work. This brings about low academic performance in the adolescent. Do you know there are some form of mental health disorders which affect the individual right from birth through to adolescence? A common example is autism, also known as autism spectrum disorder, which is a serious mental disorder which affects the nervous system of the individual and impairs one's ability to communicate and interact effectively. There is no known treatment for autism spectrum disorder, but then can be kept under control if detected early. Don't forget, it is your duty, my duty, and our collective duty as a nation. That is why we took it upon ourselves to educate families and the general public on the mergers they can put in place to support children's mental well-being and detect any deficit early. Measures we can put in place to detect signs of mental ailments are 1. Checking with your child regularly. Two, as a parent, listen more than you talk and encourage the child to keep talking by using words like, tell me more, I hear you, that's amazing, among others. Three, encourage the child to learn how to label her emotions and to accept any situation she finds herself in so as to avoid trauma. As citizens of Ghana, we must accept the fact that mental health disorders is not a case. Hence, we intend to break the gap between the communities and patients suffering from mental health disorders and to educate families and the general public against stigmatization on patients suffering from mental health disorders. Nothing is impossible because the word itself says impossible. Therefore, we pledge to be an encouragement to all patients suffering from mental disorders and to let them know it's possible to shine despite the situation. Presented to you are Aisha Tunteya Bashiru, Basira Tupana Salman, Fadila Abubakar, and, and together, together we represent Tamale Girls Senior High School. <laughs>